are so excited to have y'all here. And thank you so much uh, to our panelists and our moderator for uh, driving like three and a half hours to get here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, thank you. Please join um, Women in Wireless as we're live streaming this event. We would, we would like for you to join us on Twitter and LinkedIn. Um, here is our hashtags and our um, Twitter handle, um, Wireless Women and Women in Wireless.us is our um, website. We are an overarching um, society or a special interest group of um, Wireless Technology Forum. So please start following us on your Twitter and LinkedIn. I'm Melissa Sorrentino. My co-chair, Caroline Dunn, we started this organization um, about six months ago. This is our second event of 2018, and it's about how to um, get the recognition you deserve in the workforce. And we have a fabulous panel that will be directing the conversation and a moderator, Katie, who is from TAG, the Technology Association of Georgia, and she's going to ask these ladies the tough questions, how they moved up in their career and took advantage of the opportunities. I would also like to recognize our founding members, um, um, Diane Astor, if you could please, all the founding members, just please stand up so we can give you applause. Alicia Bridget, Neely Shaw, Alicia Booth, <laughs> um, Janine Whitman, and Elizabeth Simpson. So thank you all for um, helping us form a movement to move women forward in technology and wireless. It's very important to our cause. Um, we have an exciting announcement tonight. Um, we have our first premier sponsor of Women in Wireless. Oh, and you'll never guess who it is. It's only the biggest networking um, social media company besides Facebook in the land, and that would be LinkedIn. So, a shout out to um, Zaid Ala Khan. Um, he is the executive of infrastructure at LinkedIn. He spoke at Grace Hopper, and I contacted him at, after Grace Hopper and asked him to support our Women in Wireless.us. He took that challenge. Ladies, we want you to go back to your corporations everywhere and let them know that the women in wireless.us are serious IT women. Right, Caroline? Right, yeah. We, we know math better than anybody. Well, not really. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Caroline does. Caroline is the math girl. But what we want to do is empower the next generation of women in IT. And it's a movement. We need your help. We need you to tell your um, fantastic, fabulous female friends to come and join our society and make it a movement. Um, one year from now, we will fill a um, 100 seats. Right, Caroline? Right, ladies? Right. Yes. So uh, a fabulous shout out to LinkedIn for being our first sponsor. And um, we, we need sponsorships. It's, it's not very much money, <coughs> one to $5,000. And you can sponsor us for one meeting to the whole year. So please consider doing that for our movement. Um, we'd also like to recognize our other sponsors our association sponsors of the Wireless Technology Forum. That would be AT&T, ARC, um, Stone, Resource, Stone, Re Stone Resource Group, Sable Kernel, <coughs> and on Cube. And of course, our um, industry advocate partner, GSMA, and our location sponsor, which we're at Tech Square Labs, 
in the heart of downtown Atlanta and um, City Life. So um, thank you. I would uh, encourage you to please sponsor our society. And this is the different sponsorship levels and what you get for it. And I would like to introduce my co-chair, Ms. Caroline Dunn, the mathematician. Hi, good evening, ladies. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. So we are brand new. This is our second meeting. And so we, we want to talk about our mission, our vision, our, our movement, and how we're all taking a piece, taking, doing our part in the movement of women in wireless. Our vision is to create a new, oh, create a new generation of female technology thought leaders. And, and wireless is so encompassing now, so ubiquitous. So we do define wireless as, um, as innovative technology fields, including IoT, mobile, AR, VR, smart cities, cybersecurity, healthcare, fintech, retail tech, big data, wearables, video, and digital media. So if you're in any of these industries, please consider yourself a woman in wireless. <coughs> So I want to take a moment to talk about our philanthropy project this year. We are partnered with Chick Tech. They, they um, conduct technology workshops for high school students, high school girls, who have aptitude for technology. So this is last year's project. There's a little video here. We won't, I won't bore you with the video. But last year what we did, uh, Liz Simpson and I led a workshop where we taught seven girls how to make a Amazon Alexa from a Raspberry Pi. This year, uh, if you're interested in volunteering with us, our volunteer date is Saturday, March 24th at the GSMA headquarters. And this year we'll be teaching 20 high school girls how to make a Google Home from a Raspberry Pi. No prior experience needed. <laughs> so it's, all, it's on YouTube. You can watch the video on YouTube. It's a great opportunity Tomorrow we're staying so by volunteering. Yes. So, so please, if you are available on March 24th, please uh, talk to me, uh, join us, join the movement, and really help inspire the next generation. So, uh, we are a part of the Wireless Technology Forum. The Wireless Technology Forum is a boys club that's been around since 2004. I was the president for the past two years of the Boys Club, and uh, now we're starting the Women in Wireless. I'm really thrilled. So if you're interested in joining the Wireless Technology Forum for the women, you now get twice as many meetings. So Wireless Technology Forum, we meet on the third Thursday of every month, 11 meetings per year. And Women in Wireless, we're having 10 meetings this year for the women. So it's, it's really it's really better deal now for the, for the ladies. So, so does that mean we can go to the other meeting and bring a day to ours? Yes, exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, and you, and you get the idea. So everybody do that. Do what this says. Um, and we, you know, so Wireless Technology Forum has been around for 14 years, so we are partnered with lots of other organizations. There are discounts. There's 21 meetings a year now uh, it's for only $99 a year. It's a great deal. Can't, can't beat that here in Atlanta. Okay, so these are our committees. Okay, we need volunteers. Okay, so every one of our founding members is a co-chair of one of our committees. So we recognize our founding members. Now, founding members, are you do you need are you looking for volunteers? Yes. Anybody not looking for volunteers? No. Alright, so our committees are sponsorship, membership, partnership, mentorship, programs, pre-production and post-production. Alright, so think about which committee you want to join as part of your annual membership of the Wireless Technology Forum. And uh, come see us at the end of the meeting. Uh, our next meeting is April 12th, and we're going to talk about career hack, enhancing perception to gain recognition. And we'll talk about that. At, we'll talk about that at the end of the meeting. I think it's a great segue from the panel we're having tonight about positioning yourself for promotional opportunities. I think we're going to we're going to learn that you know we're, we're going to have to learn how to tutor our parents a little tonight. Maybe might give it away. <laughs> so and we have we have uh, meetings scheduled on the second Thursday of the month from now through November. So please uh, mark your calendars. Make this a regular.